first impressions of this camera. It is an absolute beast. Your beast? Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a DP, my name is Luke. We are gonna be diving into the Ari Alexa 35. I was excited about using this camera for our latest film, Sweet Secret. Action. And you know, the reason why we went with the Alexa 35 on this, we literally were shooting Sweet Secret outside in harsh sunlight for two days straight. Okay. It felt like it was like 115 degrees outside. It did not once overheat at all. First impressions of this camera. It is an absolute beast. This is heavy duty, Doc. This is great. Let's talk about the weight and build. Because despite being a high-end cinema camera, the Alexa 35, it's nothing like the Alexa Mini where you can throw on a gimbal and call it a day. The Alexa 35 is a lot bigger and a lot heavier. Oh, heavy. There's that word again, heavy. It's around 45 to 50 pounds when it's fully rigged out. The reliability on this camera is par none. Uh, throughout the shoot, the Alexa 35 just performed consistently without any hiccups. I mean, it's it's a workhorse. The Alexa 35 is the newest in the RE Alexa lineup. It was released back in 2022. There are some key differences between the older Alexa Mini and the Alexa 35. One is their sensor, the ALEV 4. The ALA 4 actually has something very unique implemented onto the sensor. It's called extended sensitivity mode. And you could turn this on and it will put noise reduction on your image itself. So if you're shooting extremely low light, you will get a cleaner overall image. With the introduction of the Alexa 35, it introduced a brand new log, which is log C4. The colors were rich and vibrant, yet still looked very natural to the human eye. If you have never worked with an Ari, the one thing I can say is Ari designs their menu systems with a sixth grade reading level, I would say. Once you uh, turn on that camera and look through that menu system, I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to use it. it. It's that easy. It's very straightforward. On the RE, they have two different proprietary medias. Uh, they have a one terabyte and a two terabyte codex card. Even in the menu system, when you go through the different frame rates, it will show you what your max frame rate can be for that size card. I did notice uh, a significant amount of detail in both the shadows and the highlights, which really brought all the scenes to life. I'm used to the Alexa Mini where it only had like 14 stops of dynamic range. But on the Alexa 35, they say it has 17 stops of dynamic range. And guess what? It does. The camera is just impressive and it handled the bright outdoor harsh sunlight beautifully. And that's what we need on big film sets. You know, we need something rugged. We need something reliable and dependable something that can handle every single type of weather condition and Ari literally did that. Now, on the Alexa 35 it takes a B mount and you can buy shark fins for it. You get maybe 30 minutes if you're pushing it maybe an hour on one battery. Overall though my experience with the Ari Alexa 35 is fantastic. Ari is like the mansion for cameras and i look at it like this you got your apartments you got your family home and you got your mansion the apartment falls in underneath the sony fx3 the fx6 the black magic pocket cinema then you get stepped up and you start moving into your family home which are your red scarlets your sony fx9s then you go into your mansions, and the mansions are the, the Venice, the Ari, and there's nothing that can compare 
to the look, the color science, tones that you can get from the Ari Alexa 35. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you guys think about this camera.